To understand normal cell development, researchers frequently investigate differential expression in normal versus diseased cells, look at the expression over time, in specific tissues, or in response to varying conditions. With RNA-seq, researchers can detect the fine architecture of the transcriptome, such as transcript isoforms, gene fusions, single nucleotide variants, SNVs, non-coding RNA expression, and other features without the limitation of prior knowledge in a single experiment. RNA sequencing offers several advantages over other RNA analysis methods, such as RT-qPCR and gene expression arrays. RNA sequencing can provide a wider dynamic range than gene expression arrays, resulting in greater sensitivity and accuracy, allowing profiling of genes with low expression levels, increasing the discovery power of these studies. And unlike both RTQPCR and gene expression arrays, RNA sequencing can capture both known and novel features, revealing a complete transcriptome landscape. RNA sequencing workflow consists of three distinct steps – library preparation, sequencing and data analysis. The choice of the library prep will be determined by the research goal. A scientist may choose to sequence either total RNA, focus on mRNA only, or sequence just a few chosen targets. The most common approach is to measure average expression of RNA across an entire sample – bulk analysis. But in case when heterogeneity of the sample is important, emerging technologies allow now also for measuring expression of RNA in individual cells. For total RNA library preparation, Illumina offers total RNA prep with Riba0+, which provides exceptional performance for the analysis of coding and multiple forms of non-coding RNA. This kit supports a broad range of RNA inputs, from 1 nanogram to 1,000 nanograms, and it's compatible with variable sample types, including formalin-fixed paraffin-embedded FFPE and other low-quality samples. In the first step, abundant RNAs, including rRNAs and globin RNAs, is enzymatically removed from total RNA using Riba0 plus rRNA depletion reagents. After depletion, the remaining RNA transcripts are chemically fragmented and RNA is reverse transcribed to double-stranded cDNA. Next, the adapters are ligated to both ends of the double-stranded cDNA construct and the libraries are completed by adding of indices during PCR amplification. The second step of the workflow is the sequencing. Completed libraries can be sequenced on any of the Illumina's sequencing platforms. For large-scale studies, researchers can use high-throughput instruments like the NovaSeq 6000 and NextSeq 2000 sequencing system and multiplex up to 384 samples with unique dual indexes. Read depth varies depending on the goals of the RNA-seq study. The third and final step of the sequencing workflow is data analysis. RNA-seq data can be quickly and securely transferred, stored and analysed in Illumina Connected Analytics or BaseSpace Sequence Hub, the Illumina Multiomics cloud computing platforms. Both platforms offer in-cloud access to the Dragon BioIT platform for accurate, ultra-rapid secondary analysis of RNA-seq and other NGS data. The Dragon RNA app offers multiple operating modes including reference-only alignment and annotation-assisted alignment with gene fusion detection and gene expression quantification. Output gene expression data is compatible with the Dragon Differential Expression application. To find more about Illumina's RNA-seq solutions, visit our website www.illumina.com.